here. I'll start the recording too right now, because why not? But you don't know what's going to happen, and that's why I'm so fascinated with this game. I've seen the same players that have kicked so much ass in the past die to a single AI with the frickin' AK. And then I've also seen them... Like, literally beat out the Russian government with the most overpowered body armor I can find, and they just run up, mag dump them, and then run out and move on. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like... What... What is this? What is this, you know? Like... Ay, ay, ay. Here, what's in you? Oh, nothing. Okay, well... I was hoping there'd be something so I could at least make it like easier for myself, but oh, oh okay, that just went to hello. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna do caches today. I don't feel like building those. <clears throat> they have a full arsenal. They have resupply. They they should use it. <laughs> you know. All right, I'm thinking we're just going to garrison some random. Some random structures from all around. And then maybe a few randomized patrols, and then that'll be our nice little full arsenal AO for today. I mean, yeah, Pog is, I would say, the exact same way. Though Pog, it's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of influence on their settings as well when the player base does really well and it doesn't because their server sometimes just goes absolutely insane for certain things. But for TSB, I'm really good about, actually almost everyone is really good about uh, making sure the servers are set properly and tested. Once in a while, there's a fuck up and we learn from that. But with um, TSB, those base variables are a lot smoother they're a lot more uniform compared to pog but pog is now on the track where their server is fine now after you know a few months of making sure everything's a-okay -okay and some dicking around and yada da but it's, it's not just tsv or pog it's anyone if you want to be perfectly honest like anyone can have a good day or a bad day uh, in Arma 3, I mean, there was a 506 stop I was playing on the ground a few weeks ago where I missed so many freaking AT shots. Like, I was kind of embarrassed with the amount of AT shots I missed in that scenario. Like, at point-blank ones, too. Like, it was bad. I'm like, Jesus. I just could not get my shit together that up. We all have good days and bad days, you know? It just, it just goes to show you. So, for the record, uh, in case you hear me cussing, Lamb's AI is on. It's a staple in the TSB mod set these days, which I don't agree with, but whatever. I work with it. So, uh, the good news, though, is it's not the custom version of Lamb's that the 506 uses, which I find absolutely infuriating to play with. So, you'll see the AI kind of doing their own little dynamic thing once the gunfighting starts, and I'll be trying to adjust what I can wear. And I might cuss a few times about it, but... C'est la vie, you know? That is life. Alright, I'm trying to think. Maybe some wide patrols... Which, wide patrols for militia actually don't make a lot of sense when you think about it. I mean, especially if they own the territory, it's just kind of them keeping the peace. I mean, for militaries, it makes sense because it's just, like, patrols and whatnot. But for militia, I mean, they just assume they have control of the territory, and that's that. If they're going to do a patrol, they're going to do it, like, down the road with a few vehicles. They're going to make it, like, a convoy thing instead, you know? Doesn't really matter to them. I'll put a dishka here as well. I'm going to go really heavy with my dishkas. Mainly because of... Um, for the sake of AAA. But I don't think we're going to have anything to worry about. Because if the player base needs support, they have freaking... Where is he? God Dick McGee here with... Uh, yeah, everything... 
everything. So, you know, MI24G westernized MI24, which is basically just an Apache model at that point. That can transport people. Hey, DJ, how you doing? <clears throat> Do you still have time to join? Yeah, op officially begins in 15 minutes. And Luxie's right. Yeah, there's very little, there, many, like, down the road. It's either, it, all these types of ops either go super poorly or super well. There is very rarely an in-between of, okay, maybe they come in with 30 dudes and they have, like, you know, five or six KIA. No, it's either they either do it perfectly <laughs> or something bad happens, you know? It's just impossible to freaking tell sometimes. But again, that's why I like running ops in the first place. It's just my curious little brain going, all right, how are they going to do today? And it's not just with TSB, it's any player base, period. Wait a second. No, oh, I did that wrong. Here, I'm going to be a jerk. Oh, and I still need to set up a mortar position. Where's an AGS or something? Yeah. Yeah. I do find it annoying that the squad leader determines the direction that everyone looks. You're apparently 150 kilograms, dude. Dude. Come on. We'll have that on standby. <clears throat> Alright, I've got everything I'd want in this AO. It's got a good spread. I think the only thing I need at this point is a mortar position, which in all honesty, just having a hidden one kind of like back here. Actually isn't too bad, you know? We'll do a single one. And then a little bit of extra detail, because I like to put it in where I can. Let's just shove a backpack radio on him. Oh, yeah, he is. That's actually a really evil spot, but you know what? It's a full arsenal op. I'm allowed to do what I want to some extent. Oh, Bloodwing's doing fine. She uh, just went out actually a few minutes ago. Uh, a gift we got for her parents wasn't compatible with her parents' TV, so they have to go return it, unfortunately. Uh, and then she's going to have lunch with her dad, and, you know, it's good stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did wake up a little late, so my body's still adjusting to that. I think everything else is good. I've just got a good level of triple uh, A cover here. The only places I have double AA is on the actual objectives, and I'm going to tell them, hey, it's going to stay that way, unless you start doing really weird, silly stuff. The amount of AI is manageable, but there's room for me to bring in more to swarm. But I never want to start off with just a massive amount of AI here. Am I that slow to wake up? You'd be surprised. Some nights I literally stay up till 4 or 5 a.m. working on random stuff. But I've been, I think I've been good about, uh, at least in the past week as I've transitioned to what I want to do for the new year, I've been better, uh, better at streaming all my mission development. Because now with the new way I'm going to do content, mission development actually has a purpose in um, being put on the main channel. In fact, anything armor related ha now has a purpose for the main channel. So we'll see how things go. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and look at some of these player base kits here. Uh, well, I scroll in and it's literally laggy, so I guess that's a it's a good sign. I'll put more of these drones down so they can test their UAV hacking up. Oh, well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. 
So these are down because they're all set to UAV hackers and it's just letting them test the fact that they can walk up to it and uh, hack the drone. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just walk up and then you get a scroll wheel option to hack and then you get control of it under your uh, terminal. <clears throat> it is a little framey back here though. I think because they're pulling out some of the really laggy stuff. Oh, they're gonna bring their own mortars too. Yep, they've also got some ammo boxes. A little worried, but I don't see any Raven parts. Usually when it's this frame, it means someone pulled a Raven drone out and started wrecking it and spawned like a million different particles. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I already see a dot right here. They're probably going to set up an LZ and set up an Overwatch position from over here. Honestly, some long-range missile teams in the sense of uh, Javelins or like uh, Cormets or Metises or uh, Fejats if they want to go that old. Those could be beneficial because that'll let them just snipe out all the enemy vehicles in the AO if they put their render distance up. And that would be very beneficial to the scenario as a whole. And they can use those to also snipe out everything as well. What's Falcon running? I think we all know what the hell that little chucklehead's going to run. Oh, yep. All right. It wouldn't be complete without someone running a freaking VR suit for that full inventory. My God. And they wonder why they're heavy. See, Lira was nice today because he actually... Uh, he lowered their weapon sway coefficients to like 0.4. And yes, I just spoke in the third person. It happens. I'm sorry. I am Jesus. I am drone Jesus. Here, watch this. No way, he's going to screw it up himself. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Carl? So he has an Eddie drone on his balls. He's got a meta, uh, excuse me, a Maz. And he's got a 20 round 762. That might be, uh, might be the vanilla one, actually. Yeah, the vanilla, which is the 6556. So he's got, so he's got a gun that says 556, but it fires 762, which is funny, but whatever. And he has a spectrum device. Okay. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh yeah, no, I always turn the vanilla, uh, the default weapons way coefficient to at least 0 0.7. 0 0.7 makes it playable. Uh, but if I want players to have a good time, I'll turn it down to like 0 0.4. I always prefer to have a little bit of weapon sway in Arma 3. But, at least for my ops, for the sake of balance, but um, I will admit, you know, some ops I do like to play with just no weapon sway and go absolutely ham. It's a nice casual thing, but I do believe having a little bit of weapon sway is uh, all right for things. But no, v vanilla default weapon sway, if you run a usual army kit, is absolute dog shit. But when you also think about it, if you run like a pure vanilla game where you only have to carry about magazines and then one health item, it makes sense. But once you convert your kits into game, uh, kits for like ace medical and stuff where you have to carry all this additional medical supplies and all these additional utility items, that's why your weapon sway starts sucking. Because it, it's all that extra weight that Arma wasn't originally built for and that's why you have to lower the weapon sway coefficient to something that's manageable. So there's actually a little bit of a reasoning behind all of that, but, you know, still makes you think. So my uh, my AA and AAA threat in this AO is a lot of uh, static 50 cals, but I do have quite a few mobile uh, ZU-23s on some trucks, and then on the objectives themselves, I do have some IGLAs. Uh, two iglas per. I'm not going to tell them the exact number, but I will say, hey, there's going to be AA in the green zones, AAA everywhere else in the red zones. Be careful. Enemies will not be outside of the zone to start. However, if they start sensing they're being engaged from somewhere far, they might start sending stuff up uh, after they logically figure out where it's coming from. 
So if it's a long-range missile, it's probably going to take multiple missiles for me to start going, okay, let me send stuff over. But well, we'll see how things go from there. <clears throat> well, eventually, once you... There is a certain threshold with your weight where it, once you pick up so much stuff, you will eventually be set to permawalk and you won't be able to move. Can't steal it. What the fuck? And I'm worried some people that might be backpacking on chests here won't realize that they're screwed that way because when you have a something on your chest uh you are stuck yeah, to walking gonna... anyway any sams no 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 this is just insurgency stuff if i had a sam that would completely negate the reason to run helicopters in the first place oh. do you have a time think, check until brief people... brief will be in three mics think people with carbon I will admit, I think it was supposed to be two minutes ago, but I, uh, I lost track of time there. I'm alright, Forge. How you doing? I'm thinking after this op, I might just immediately transition into some, uh, Warty Hammer 40k dev. Uh, however, I also need to consider making tomorrow's Ouroboros op. But I think I'll be making that while I do, um, Orbital Crusade today, which is the 40k D&D stuff I do. In private. Uh, the one five two. You're ready. Oh, okay. Hold on. Can I force a Sam to be a dud just to spook them? I don't think. The only way I could think of possibly doing that is, um, no, that still wouldn't work. <clears throat> Yeah, no, the only way you'd be able to do something like that is if you temporarily set their helicopter to invincible and then fired it at them, and then once it hit because they're invincible, it wouldn't do any damage, but it would certainly spook them. But that requires a lot of micro. So th there's no way to have, like, an intentional dud get launched. There are a few ammo types I know of from certain mods that have blank ammunition or even, um, like, 40, um, 40 millimeter, 40 mic mic rounds that um, don't explode. They just fall to the ground and don't do anything. Uh, but in terms of like actual dud missiles and stuff, no, I don't. I don't think there's anything that that uh, like that that exists. You could probably code something like that though, just to have the explosion but do no damage. But I don't think anyone's made that yet. And yeah, you can also like if the units are out, sometimes they won't fire, but they will still stare at them and make you know if. Uh, a helicopter has a certain type of countermeasure that detects stuff like that, it will still go off and stuff, so. Stuff like that. Uh, Forge, no, but I will look at it today. Now, I was told that the Bane Blade in the 700th, excuse me, the TOC, whatever they're freaking called, it's gonna take me a few months to, to figure that one out and actually start using their proper name. Who names himself Mr. Y? That just sounds like a bad porn name. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> the Bane Blade's currently blacklisted, but they're telling me by the 15th it should be unblacklisted because they're just uh, testing it with their uh, balance. So we'll still probably be able to use them, but, I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll just say, hey, I'm just going to take the ammo off of the Bane Blade. You're still fighting the fucking mech on it because that's just utterly ridiculous. All right. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome. All right, let's have everyone gather around. Everyone gather around. We'll brief over here. You're on this net and you're not at the uh, arsenals we are briefing right now, so feel free to dismount from wherever and come over and brief. Well, you can't spell or read. That's amazing. <laughs> Please, Sam. Sam, that's a horrible way to I'm going to Mr. Wide, no! Your asshole! It's... Okay, anyway. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. He had porn to go shoot, I guess. All right, so again, there's been some drones over there for you to test uh, how to hack, because you're basically hacking into drones today. Yes, it said boats, That's because the boat is under the drone. And yes, you can get into the boat once you bring the drone up a little bit, and you can actually fly the boats back to base. Uh, you're allowed to do that. All you have to do is bring two boats back to this base. Now, where are those boats? It's really, really simple. In the AO Tour North, there's a big red zone. 
That represents where bad people are. Notice how that red zone goes further north, meaning that's probably where the bad people are going to come in from to reinforce. Now, uh, a few notes about the red zone itself. Enemies will, if you were to go on these hills or this hill and start firing like AGMs or whatever, that's a, not the right word for it, but you get what I mean, toes and stuff, uh, enemies will eventually come out. And uh, I was going to say come out and actually be fair, but because of that Among Us, now they're just going to snipe you back with toes. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, now, where are those boats? Hmm, we have two boats, and we have two green zones in the AO. So using your tiny little brains, you might be able to figure out that the boats are in those green zones. All right, let's see. Carbon is an idiot, uh, but we already knew that. Uh... No one wants him for his emissions. Bavarian wants to go to the gas station to get some chips. Okay, whatever. Go get those boats. Bring them back. It's a one life op. I don't respawn the helicopters. Don't lose them. Enemy have AA at the green zones in the form of Iglas, but there is AAA anywhere in the red zone from Dishkas, you know, static 50 cals or mobile 50 cals to 23 millimeter ZUs, static or um, on VIX. So that's the range of uh, stuff. Now, uh, also, this also means that because I just said man pads at the uh, zones, theoretically, if a helicopter is here and it fires into the green zone, one of those AA guys might leave the green zone and go try to kill the helicopter. So keep that in mind. Um, otherwise, I think that's it. QRF will come from the north where the red zone is. So if you want to set up blocking forces, feel free. Uh, otherwise, no civilians because I'm too lazy to do them. Uh, and the enemies, again, can be anywhere in this zone. We know where the boats are because of the trackers in them, blah, blah, blah. Um, are, are like, are, is, is keeping a house casualties optional? Uh, the more houses you blow up, the more people join the uh, militias to try to kill you. I don't dare problem. Uh, the enemy don't have helicopters. However, if you level half the town, the local government does have helicopters, and they will come in to murder you. Um, so, within it's reason. not a town; it's a bunch of fucking huts. True. <laughs> so that's, that's a slum, then. <laughs> the dirt huts. No. Yeah. I'll be sure to tell the local government you said that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions from the peanut gallery? Maybe they the should build their shitty huts We're within the dead yeah. zone of yeah. the yeah. <laughs> Okay, any actual questions? Uh, you said fucking AAA. Any radar assistance? I don't know. I guess you'll have to find out. Up is live. Good luck. Have fun. Don't die. Uh, why do we have like 20? You know what? Yeah, just, just do whatever. I don't know. Oh, and if you need resupply, you can always come back to base and grab it. But if you die, just get off the server. Come watch the stream. You can put drones up in the air, by the way. Good luck. Have fun. Ay, ay, ay. Here, how about let's let's run a simple prediction. It's going to be a really, really simple, fun, easy prediction. Will the player base get the boats back? I'm going to put it on five minutes. Good luck, have fun. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see. Player base is rocking a UH-60 today. The MI-24G, obviously. The MI-8 with pylon, or the, yeah, the MI-8 with pylons. And then however the rest of them are transporting, I don't know. I think they should have enough between these three helicopters to get everyone out there. But we'll see what happens. Boats back, yeah, how many questions, right? Rookie bets, you want a real bet? Yeah, show them as.
So U860 starting to deploy. We still have five slots, uh, people. Yeah, they still have a lot of room in there. And they're filling up the 24. So they might not actually have room to transport everyone in the first go, but that's fine. Now we're just waiting. So I think they're gonna deploy far, probably around this section based off of what I saw. I was gonna have another LZ over there, all right. But yeah, they were free to organize however the heck they wanted, so we'll just left. see how things go. But hopefully the player base coordinates because I'm just gonna simply react to whatever attacks this AO, I'm not gonna Try to do any meta game, and I'm just gonna see. Okay, there's an attack coming from XYZ. Right, Let me counter that attack. Come back with the last four. So I will say, as a disclaimer, the drone that flies things is set to invincible, but the actual uh, boat itself is not invincible. So if they airstrike the <laughs> the drone, then it's not really gonna help them out. That's what that little question mark symbol is. It's just the. Uh, the grass cutter to make it easier to see the drone. Don't break too many houses. Make the local government angry. Just standard ROE that I do for these ops. If it's an enemy garrison building, you can level it, but otherwise, don't be dumb. Alright. So we don't even hear that helicopter coming, so we're fine. Now it's the setup phase. A few people are left back at base, so they're gonna have to go back and grab them. And we'll see how things go from there. So thank you for spending your Sunday with me. Hope you uh, get a nice kick out of this scenario. I know we started the stream a little bit early just to show some of the background of how I garrison an AO for random little things like this. I think we did a good job with it. Anyone still left at base? Yeah, we have four back at Let's five see back how at things base. go. Oh my gosh, emo, emu emotes. Ah, uh, yes. The Zoran emote, nice. I need to run another emu war op because those are just so funny to do, especially if we let the players be the emus, just charging up four lines. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's great. I need to make like a real. Like a real gritty trench warfare emu war out. That would be pretty dope. Why are you painting me? What did you do? Okay. So we have two helicopters flying over that way. They are in my view. I'm only gonna react if he shoots, and I don't think he's gonna shoot, so. Should be fine. Emu D Day. You know, that would actually be really, really funny. I'm gonna write that one down. Because I think the emus can get in and out of vehicles without any issues. Oh, nope, he's aggroed. This is Lamb's AI, by the way. I have no control over that. Alpha, are you guys unloading your cargo? Yep, yeah, they're aggroed. Again, I have no control over him. This is Lamb's okay. AI. One of the reasons I hate Lamb's AI is because they take control away from the Zeus, but... Yeah, if, uh... I'll say it in debrief, like, hey, like, that was Lamb's AI, not me. If you don't like it, then tell them to take Lamb's AI out. I'm sorry. That's what I said. I'm only going to do anything if he reacts to it, but he, uh, and that was, would have been him, like, you know, actually lining up the gun and yelling Targi. Um, you know, Farsi for target, but. Yeah. 
You might have lost the uh, target there. Hi, so. this is uh, high end. I got two people who apparently can't get out of my bird no matter what. Uh, do you have their names? Oh, it might be because one of them's losing connection and he's causing the other one to be stuck in there. Affirm. Up in Seismo. Alright, I just teleported them out. Hopefully that'll fix the issue. Thank you. Oh. Um, pink group to sorry by pull B16 until I get there. Interesting. Seat left, uh, Major. I gotta react to it based off of where things are going. So let's uh put a few rifle teams down to go assist. Shut down, let's go. Hat team is in position. Uh, we've also got a mortar, plus drones, plus a remote designator, plus Titans, so we are fire support. We've also got an HMG-50. Uh, Hold hat. Be advised, I have fucking laser guided munitions for if you need a bomb. Yeah, we're setting up a remote designator as well to, uh, if we have to move up the hill, we can leave it here. That's interesting. Just start parking shit. I think they're suppressing up where the drone is. Who just blew up the uh, Jeep Tacky? Weird. Someone with a small. See a bit of blood up here. I think they just backblasted themselves or something. But yeah, that's lamb suppression going off. I think they're firing in the direction of the chopper. But it is hard to tell. Oh god. Uh, let's move. Uh, oh, no. This way, buddy. Let's go. Something just detonated up here. This is 24, we're hit hard. Going down, might be able to save it. 24 just got hit. You need to do a rescue off you guys? We're over the airfield. Triple R, if you're up, uh, break. Scarred last. Uh, 24, if you land successfully, I'll drag one of the cargo crates since you're within the airfield, uh, so you can do triple R over. So they just struck that. Wasted 1k points, all M's fault. They're not out of the woodwork yet. They're just adjusting to what Lambs is doing to them. I think they just ran out of fuel, so they're just lining up their uh, fall we'll here. The LZ will start pushing on uh, the northern one, so the second one, actually. MI-24, safe. All right, I'll put that back. 24, this is high. When I see you back in the air, I'll bring that uh, cargo crate back to base since I took it from your pad over. Hey, friend, thank you. This is Pinkies. We got eyes on infantry contacts in the gas station in the compound next to it, marked on map. Oh, it's the tank sniping them. That's funny. I think the tank aggroed on the Eddy drone, in all honesty. That's really funny. Here, I only need a group of two. Yeah, he's in the gunner seat.
air assets. This is uh, IMP device. They don't, whatever missiles they have, they're not fucking sending out warnings. Yes, that's because they're probably IR based. You might not have an IR targeting pod in your helicopter to detect it, so. I thought the fucking G did. My bad. Just if you're still alive, RTB, and get triple R. If you crash land somewhere near the airfield and it's still somewhat intact, I'll do what I did with the 24. Underbred's up here with an MG3 from the sound of things. Pink team, this is Hat. Do you copy? We copy. What's your, what's your need? Spot rep. Uh, Northern AO remarker has uh, a T-34 sitting outside of it plus a BMP. Good copy. Are uh, you guys? Do you need us to hit it then? Nope. We're just letting you know. All right. Good Thank copy. you. So I switch seats because sometimes the AI seems to glitch out with lambs, and I have to change the seats to move them there. Hi, Command. The 24 is lifted off. You can move the box. Hey, for moving. Thank you. Out. So I think Roman didn't save his kit, so he has to rebuild it. He can ask for a TP if he wants to, since he technically crashed, but... Yeah, that tank's still engaging, which is pretty funny. So I like to send fire teams with lambs because I find that they're a little quicker to move. And I might have just heard, uh, yep, long range AT fired. But you know, good on them. This Vic, however, would be looking at those hills, so I'm actually gonna have them, since they're looking right up at it, I'm gonna have them react to it immediately. Ooh, they even have a targeting pod up here. That's smart. And he doesn't know how to drive on this bridge because sometimes the AI are just that silly. And they both share the same first name, which is probably why they were paired together in this Vic. Oh yeah, they definitely know. Why did you just get out of the Vic, you freaking moron? Good shot. Wow. Two taps. Oh, because they have a... I was about to say, yeah, no, they have a vanilla turret. That's why I'm like, that was some great fucking marksmanship. No, they ranged it in with a freaking vanilla turret. Damn, I was about to be impressed, too, like... <laughs> oh, well. All right, I'll check back on that in half a minute. Hat, this is a Heinz. Uh, you able to identify any auto cannon coming in from the western side? There was a single DU. Techie over by the western bridge, we have disabled it. Thank you. They get crude at that point. There's the hit. I'll let them adjust. Yeah. 
I'm gonna start sending things up here. TP to pinkies. Who the hell is pinkies? Ground forces be advised, there appears to be a mortar within the AO somewhere. If any drone operators could find it. I'm gonna call in this mission first and then I'll find whoever pinkies is. I'll work on finding it once I get into a position to cover. I have, I've, I don't recognize that name either, so I'm like, I don't, I don't see a pinkies. Why don't you just say his fucking name then instead of telling me? Yeah, I get it, because he's pink, but bro, like, I'm not going to see that. They get mortared next. Aces RTP2 is we're going to ground is heading now. Oh, they're dead. That explosion didn't sound good behind us. Kill her. My eight, both okay. Don't take that as a no. Kill her is not okay. So I think that was him. That or uh, the BMP. Fired an ATGM. I tried to recover and then, yeah. Ghost missile. This is Pinkies. We're pushing towards the gas station. Here, and I'm going to continue to fire on that position. See, what can I delete? So you turn movie or tech you moving north of the green dot marking now. Cool. Keep the AO somewhat clean, you know? There's something uh, starting to come into this AO otherwise. They've got that position lined up. And these chuckleheads do not want to move because Lamb's AI is annoying. Alright, let's do five with a 25 meter spread. Not a 250. Oh my god. Just to show that we're mortaring their previous position. Get him off the building. Uh, Lamb's like any AI mod bogs down when more AI are down because it's just more stress on the CPU, which is why a headless client would be good for handling shit like that. But why are these guys constantly running? Oh, God. These things can't even pathfind correctly. Yeah, so they're going to see the tracers coming out and shit. Pressure. Pink, you got a full infantry squad right by the gas station. Ah, uh, let's just get some 34s out at this rate. African militia, it's perfectly fine. I'm gonna kill a DC because he died in the crash, unfortunately. Just take him a second to initialize that. These guys are starting to move in and breach here. Falcon, are you in a 
position to scout where that mortar is? Dope's also DC. Uh, not anymore, but I can use the drone. Wait one. Bear with for a sec. I'll uh, start with. I think they were the air crew or something. So that's gotten lost, which is unfortunate, but hey, it happens. I think most of these guys are fine. This is Pinkies. We're going to be stealing some uh, enemy technicals. One has a Mark 19 in their jeans. I can't steal any of the uh, drones. They're all being operated. Falcon, I'm going to hop out my mine. I need to get up with my squad. That which one is it, the northern one or the southern? Northern one. Okay. And you know what? You know what? He's got a lot. Alright, he's he's got a lot of shells. Alright, he's he's got a lot here. <laughs> it's my little cheeky mortar position. Yeah, you're hearing AT blasting left and right here. 72s are coming in. This squad, for whatever reason, their pathfinding is just getting them stuck up there. These guys are super slow to move up. All right, I'm going to delete that target. We still have these guys moving up to check things out. So we'll have these guys move up and check out that position. Hat team is currently displacing. We are off station for the next five to ten minutes. And then Liru realized he had an RPG. Bro. Oh, I got shot. After I got another RPG off. Fucking wish I was recording. <laughs> I think as he looked and I think it hit him right in the face. Which is pretty funny, don't get me wrong. Falcon on ground forces, two T-34 is coming in from the northwest. I repeat, two T-34 is coming in from the northwest. All right, I think the best way for me to do reinforcements is the truck method, which northwest of what? requires a little bit of micro. Uh, That's a lot of explosions. It's just two T-345s. Oh, uh, they said an airstrike right here, that's why. Whew. Still searching for that mortar. It's dug in somewhere. All right. Extremists, yeah, sure. The best way to do a truck method is to try to bypass every AI functionality that you can. So just make, uh, you know, a double squad, take them, send them to careless hold fire, otherwise they will dismount early and start, like, constantly loading in and out of the truck, which is annoying. Uh, then you bring this in here, and you can just pull it right in. Give him a get out marker. And then give him a seek and destroy marker somewhere else, you know? And then once they're in the AO dismount, you can then re-aggro them, and you'll be fine. There goes my GMG, it's falling way short though. One thing I'm noticing with my AI though is uh, they're ignoring my dynamic uh, stand up order just to keep standing. John's got eyes on AGS 30 on top of a building with multiple infantry on top of it. West, northwest of you, AG. Oh, so they're completely the displacing, yep. Uh, it's not on top of the factory, it's on the other side of the factory. It's to the west by northwest of the factory. It's like a little... Ooh. I don't know what, how to describe it, it's like a little market. The three building market. Uh, would somebody able to deal with that? Uh, I can shoot a rocket at it, one sec. It's really pinning down my advances. Yeah, bear with, let me see what I can do. Oops. Hey, man, welcome. Uh, stream 
isn't really uh, lagging. I mean, it's a bit of a laggy scenario. I will give it that, but large AOs like these tend to tend to be that way. I hope it's not copy. Did you find the? Good copy. I found your mortar. Yep. Roger. We're uh, currently displacing over to the east side. Uh, they copy. Laze is hot on it, so when you come back, you should be able to get a laze on it. Roger yeah. that. All right, truck's coming in. This is Pinkies. Do you need our support in the first objective, or can we start pushing towards the second? We have to capture the first one. Need help at the first one. Got it. We'll move to your position. Yeah, so we're checking out that position. Did they leave that mortar? No, they didn't. They re-backpacked it and took one of the backpacks. Smartest thing they could do. Now, I think you're having the infantry to shoot up at those uh, drones up there. I'm just trying to clean up bodies here. They're digging some trenches for themselves. We're going to say it's honed in and start shelling. Another airstrike just came in on this position. Mox is now pulling back. This is Pinkies. We're going to be commandeering a couple enemy vehicles. Uh, three vehicles to be exact. One off road with a Didn't they call that out like 10 minutes Jeep ago? With a Mark 19 and one Jeep with a Tech Dishka. You know, I could have sworn. There, so I'm going to set them to aggro now. They're getting out pretty damn slowly. Ooh, good thing they dug that trench. Did other squads copy our uh, word that we're taking captured VIX? Copy, copies. You guys are taking technicals, right? Yes. Two technicals, yeah, three technicals. Yeah, so they've redeployed back here. They're going to reinforce we'll on the back the line. Main, we'll be coming up the main road from your south. All right, I'm going to try to send these tanks over to kind of close the gap here to do a flank attack, but... As you can see, Lambs doesn't really want me to order them to do such a thing. What did Danny just do? He just blew himself up or something. Heck, what are the players doing here? Hey, Mr. Mr. RPG. I uh, bear with. I'm doing a lot of things right now. Pat is moving up to the mighty truck to find the What is even going on anymore? I hear a lot of crazy shit going on. Uh, the laser should still be active for the, uh, the mortar. It's in a little mortar pit, I would say. I don't know. I can't see. Oh, they're using the artillery car and they're actually, they're direct firing it and they actually just did a really good job of killing everything. Well, you got roughly about five minutes up to feeling that darter before I can take it down. Where is it? Crazy, crazy, crazy. This is Pinkies. We established a foothold in the one compound. Is everybody in the tank? Hey, coming northeast from Pinkies. Pinkies, I'd rather you deal with it. Where is it? Oh, it's... Northeast, northeast. I'm running Allah. for you guys. Did you chuckle cut nothing, AP? Well, I just blew up some of these bodies. Holy crap. Whoo! Well, they're getting their butts clenched a little bit. Let's reload that uh, AGS. My vision looks a little wonky right now. I don't know from what. Amazing. 
This is high. I, I see the issue. Stand by. I don't know how you broke it, but yeah, give TSB invincible assets and they will find a way. Hold my beer. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Just any player base, Lamar. No, it's, it's exclusively you guys, and that's what I find so perplexing about this damn thing. Goobers. All right, it's it's still invincible, so just I don't know, figure it out. Cool, I will tell my guys that. Pretty good. Roll on that twenty. Where is it so I can break it? Why can I only disassemble it? What? Do you have a UAV terminal? I have the UAV terminal NATO. As I said in the beginning, you need the UAV terminal AAF. Well, I'm retarded. Yep. Yes. <laughs> 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 uh, goobers. They all spawned with them. They all spawned with this kit. And here is the right one to have. I gave them everything they needed at spawn. And they're still like, oh, let me pick up something else. Mm. This is this is probably going to be one of those middle of the road ones, to be honest. They're still doing well, like, uh, but it's just, they're so silly. So what's the situation on the boat? Okay, they hacked it. Now they can just drive it out. Good copy. Amazing. We're going to start moving for the second objective then. They could fly the boat out of here if they wanted to. One of the T-55s gonna start showing up. You know what? You're right. Let's just let's bring in a 55 as well. Now they're supposed to have an Mi-24G to be their, uh, you know, armor anti-armor cover, but that got shot down early on. I think because of a BMP ATGM, they weren't able to fi uh, auto rotate it in time. Do I still have the mortar? Yes, I do. Okay. Because I'm evil. Even though they have a lot of drone cover, I'm going to start putting some stuff in pretty close here just to surround him. Because again, Lamb's AI movement from farther ranges either requires a lot of micro or God knows what, you know? Mox is just enjoying bombing the shit out of this position. They're all dead, but he's just going to keep doing it. What a Chad. Ooh, these guys got hit with some shrapnel as uh, that was moving. Why is Lolo wearing a freaking poncho? Been located. I'm giving a rough map mark. Map marker in a second. Infantry, you've got a tank coming in north. All right, we're gonna just. He's wearing a poncho. Uh, Why do you type evil twice? For me, you only typed it once, but sometimes Twitch accidentally sends chat messages to certain clients multiple times because they're silly. Now, these guys need to run because these shells are probably going to land right on top of them. West of, your position. west of the compound. Break. T-55 west. There's Splash. Oh, I think you ran out of ammo. Sort of long range AT shot of something. Okay, I'm gonna say they know how to. What are we shooting at? Oh, you got it. Good job. Okay. Working on getting the thing to kill the mortar. Just bear with for like two minutes. 55 down. 
Don't worry about Is he going to drive Eddie up to the freaking mortar? I would laugh my ass off if he actually pulled something like that. I don't know the approximate location. It's near the There's a weird filter on my interface right now that's slightly blurring things out. I think it's actually reflecting on the stream too. I don't know what that is. So that's that's weird. But yes, we do have a multi-up. We do have a few on-the-ground POVs, so if you want to look into that, feel free. He's going to shoot me in the head. Yep, with the freaking shotgun pelter bullshit. This is Pinkies. We're taking a transport truck. We're going to move for the other objective. Pinkies, that building with the AGS well, on it, I'm sending some clear. shells. There's a guy throwing grenades at you that I just killed. Well, at this point, it's luck of the draw where they land. Uh, they could be outside the compound. They could go right in because I've been mortaring it multiple times. Ironically, the boat's actually going to be really safe. So, Let's see what happens. They got 20 seconds. I'm glad Nemesis is here, uh, isn't here, otherwise he'd call me Luton Jr. Oh god, they're driving right in the middle of the kill zone. I think they're okay. I'm worried. You know, maybe it was out of ammo. Oh, he might have been out of ammo, actually. Which means there's no artillery coming. Yay, the players are safe. But, unfortunately, he has a big box of ammo next to him, and he's going to use it. Oh, I just realized you're using... He's using flares. That's funny. Did you just use a demining drone? One mortar down. He used a demining drone. Cop, was that the one out in the field in like mortar pit? That to was, destroy uh, mortar my mortar on position. The <laughs> this is why I like running these types of ops. Yeah, it's a freaking demining drone. That's. That's next gen creativity right there. Let's be honest. That's good. That's some good stuff. Uh, that three store, that, uh, what's it called complex should be clear. I cleared it with Eddie, uh, where the AGS was, I think he's. That's funny. That's honestly funny. We're going to start putting some pretty heavy uh, infantry squads coming in from the north. However, since they're big groups, they're probably not going to move that much in distance. Let's go ahead. Hi, this is Aces, big group. Um, we can't, oh, fuck. Yeah, we can't control the uh, drone. It's only showing the gutter for us. Is that a friendly MI8 flying over? Yeah. Okay, why? I was deploying mines. Well, well. High to ground, or ground to high. Who's the original guy that hacked it? Underscore. Do you not have an option to then connect to it once you go up to it? disconnect from it okay so he he should have the ability then to fly it out this is why i don't do any concepts like these they're just a little they're either too buggy or the player base yeah, can't drive, drive control driver uh, flying is great out i can only control the gunner 
All right, best I can do is delete it and let you hack it again. Uh, and if it's still broken, then I don't know what to tell you. I'll try it myself as well. Wait, go to the gunner and try to switch to the driver's seats or uh, try to I already switch deleted controls. it. I already tried that too. It wouldn't allow me. I right, shouldn't even have the option to do it. This is my recon, or, or actually Pinky's. How far are you guys? We are on Pinky's mark. Is it good to come down south to you guys now? We are completely surrounded. If you want to, you're going to have to push through enemies to get to us. So, uh, what direction are you surrounded by? Since I have some 40 uh, rockets I can uh, spend. All right, I'm gonna Every go side? back to deleting stuff. The AGS marker well, is clear. Please don't bomb that. contact is coming from the east and west. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and delete some more stuff in the AO here. I'll see what it can do. Another idea, one second. Okay. I'm not crazy. The only thing I can think of on top of that is to replace the existing oh, one. No. We don't have any colored smoke to, uh, Assist in targeting. Is that another, uh, it's sending an uh, RP4 now. Lights not working. Keep away from the west side. I'm gonna do my strike. Alright, try this one. From your marker. Okay. You don't have to hack it, just connect it. Uh -oh. It worked when I tested it this morning, Larry. Don't know what to tell you. It's, it's like literally a drone you just connect to and then should be able to fly. There's no reason that shouldn't be working, you know? Yeah, that was, uh, that was east of us. Oh, oops. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What was that explosion? I have no fucking clue, but that just insta hit me. Well, I'm coming to save you. Put that in. Hold I'm my alive, so. Look at some gas now. Thanks. Land in the second story. That's funny. Moxie, you can run out. Yep. All right, works now. I mean, I can survive. I know where to go. Good enough. The are. Yeah, that was the lens anyway, flare of the uh, the drone. So I'll pour him back to base. All right, at least we have the boat. Moxie, you've got two infantry approaching from your west. One northwest on the corner and one southwest on the corner. Oh, fun time. I don't have a compass on me. <laughs> that is definitely a you problem. What was the direction? Uh... North is towards those gunshots that you can probably hear. Don't have me up. I know, but uh, I have company. Understandable. I'm almost there with Eddie. Black techies for me with the rocket thing. You know what would be funny if I go up to Eddie and I just disassemble it? I'm totally gonna do that. After the punishment, Jello. No, I'll let him. I'll let him get up there, and then after he starts wreaking havoc, I'll uh. I'll do the thing. 
All right, well, the boat's out here now. However they use it, it's entirely up to them. He was literally glitching through the fucking floor. Nice one, Liru. Why are you blaming me for Lamb's AI? It's you chuckleheads that want in the mod set. I hate Lamb's AI. There you go. All right, one boat's going back to base. To the team going for the other uh, boat right now, if you are unable to use the driver's seat, let me know, and I will uh, fix it. Over. Copy. Hey, Moxie, I see you there. There's literally an enemy uh, ZU on the opposite side of that wall to your west. Hey, Bye. What enemy a Chad. What a Chad. Rescue himself. Oh, he's in a car now. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely see you. Yeah, yeah, this one works fine. So it's something that Underscore's connection was doing was just graying out the gray area. So I told you, it's fine. I didn't do anything to that one. So it was just Underscore's connection being weird that wouldn't let him get in the driver's seat. Working. Yep, all right, thank you. Take that road south. All right, this is Pinky, we're getting in the boat. Have we located the secondary boat? We are in control of the second boat. Ah! I'll get him next time. Friendly forces on the ground, be advised. Friendly Helix ZU approaching you fast. Friendly, friendly, friendly. I'm disassembling his drone. I'm being mean. They weren't even ready to shoot me anyway, so. Great security, guys. Good job. Is that joke is serious? No, really. <laughs> you have 30 people sitting in that compound futzing about with a boat and not one of you is looking out. Oh, yeah. great. He's crippled. Pinky's is getting in the boat and we're going to pull it out. We're leaving. Throw a grenade. Whatever. It's fine. We're waiting on two two members of the squad to get in the boat. All right. At least we're going to have this. Cool. As soon as you're there, we're going to be right behind you and run the fuck out of here. Good copy. You can blame Hazmat for the delay. What are you? Oh, he's shooting at a drone out there. That's pretty funny. So blame Hazmat for everything. Got it. Yep. And you have Underscore back here doing who the heck knows. Let's see if I can just run him into the AO and let him dynamically figure I'm things out. And then I'm going to RTB with you guys. <laughs> probably know what shut me down. It was, it was probably ABRDM with the ADGMs. <laughs> I just squished David with the bow. Or just a eighth gym. It is Penny. <laughs> He's on the boat. <laughs> what are you towing? What is he towing? Friendlies that are in amongst. Do we have friendlies in amongst CU techies? That's just uh, glorious. Can we possible to get an air escort on this flight? Only an arm. That's just glorious. Ah, uh, I see. We're the only thing armed. You can see it flying in the distance over there. That's pretty funny. They wouldn't be shooting at it if it wasn't for people in it, so... Well, no, they'd still be shooting at the drone connected to it. If they could see it. Well, the AI would detect it, so yeah. AI, don't give a damn. Falcon's lone wolfing, you know what that means. Means I can't throw a grenade to save my life. And I think I just got friendly fired. No, did he run downstairs? No, I got shot by friendlies suppressing. Oh well.
All right, well, now it's just a matter of the AI. See, because this is why I hate lambs. They don't move at all once you actually displace them. It's rather annoying. All right, so now I have to kill Falcon. That's going to be difficult, but hey, I can make it work. I just don't have any AI around to actually do anything because Lamb says everything slowed down. And Lamb's suppression is making them just fire at those uh, infantry instead. Ah, it's annoying. Is that another demining drone just coming here to bomb this? That would be pretty funny. But yeah, overall it worked out fairly well. this mag because I got to kill him at this rate so everyone else is uh here I'll say some this is high server will index once everyone is out of the red zone Grounds out of or if they're dead over my dead body Mining drones, we can still Does anyone no. need extraction? All the uh, drones, guys, bro. I might need an extraction, but for right now, pretty much are angry men with AKs are screaming at me. I'm also throwing grenades at me. Sad. I found a motorbike. Whether it has wheels or not, we'll see. Uh, this is hi asking all other assets on net. Are we gonna do a distraction or should we choose death? How copy? How many people do I need? Extraction. I okay. Over my dead body, Lyra. Okay, that's one for death. Falcon, no. I can save you. I, if I remember correctly, there were cars inside this warehouse. If they're still here, I'm good. I'm debating Which to VLS him, but his he'll he'll be able to get out of here fine. So mark your position. Here's what I'll do, cause this I'm. Is pinkies. I'm gonna have my guys disconnect from the server. Hey, firm. I got a SPG. I'm running out. Cause I I, I individually bully I'm at Falcon. The, uh, AA, Igla, uh, SPA. Oh. Bad guys on the road. Shoot him. We're going country roads. Let's go. Shoot him now. Which objective? Southern or northern? Uh, southern, I'm uh, moving to where uh, our original um, LZ was to the east. There are a lot of people shooting at me right now. <laughs> Pull out southeast if you can. Coming in. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, well, he's technically past my border. I'm out of the red zone. I'm just going to go up the hill. You can pick me up. Oh, if I opens hit that tree, I would have left my ass off. I'm off your right. You see me? He's dropping demining drones. Are you kidding me? No. No. Okay, the wind's blowing it. Thank God. He's trying to freaking bomb a ZSU with a demining drone. Oh my God. All forces are technically out of the red zone. Stand by for index. Okay, go. I wish we chose death. I would have BLS'd him. <laughs> That's not allowed. It's not allowed if it's caught. It's allowed if I say so. <laughs> I didn't see shit. <laughs> God damn it, I love Eddie so much. Oh, break, 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 break. Okay. Um, 
underscore, I don't know what was wrong with your connection or what was wrong with your client there, but the other group was able to get it fine without any issues. Uh, when I tested the mission before I let you guys on the server, both were working fine without any issues, so I, I don't know what to say in that case, you know? So technical, technical issues, who knows? But uh, otherwise, hope you had fun. Uh, just again, uh, people voted for full arsenal modern warfare, so I gave you a full arsenal modern warfare. Um... The only, I guess, issue was the MI-24 getting shot down early on uh, because the BMPs have ATGMs and they will use them against helicopters and there's not much I can do about that. But yeah, uh, Lamb's Eye is Lamb's AI. I didn't really do any RCing. Uh, I did some here and there to fire a few RPGs, but yeah. Uh, if the AI are running through buildings and shit, then there's nothing much I can do about that, unfortunately. But Mox still survived, so. It was so realistic. They opened the fucking door. Yeah. I'm sorry. AI or AI. Sense. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave it on open. I'll put feedback up. Uh, because the, unless you had your own command structure, then I guess go through your command structure. But hope you had fun. If you didn't, sorry. Bash me in feedback. Smash you in feedback. Got it. That's not what I said, <laughs> but okay. Yeah, you know what? You do you. You do you. <laughs> Mash. Who was the one who uh, used the, went into the drone in the end? Uh, um, that was in the northwest. Flew away with it. Oh wait, no, no, no. Let me let me interject one thing to say. Uh, I opus fuck you for demining droning my uh, artillery position. That was pretty funny. That was pretty innovative. But fuck you for that one. <laughs> wait, he drone mined you? He he used the demining drone. He went up. He flew over my uh, pod nose I had hidden in a wheat field, and he just freaking dumped it. With the mining rounds, I'm like, good God! <laughs> with a demining drone, no. whatever works, right? We are All right, thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. I think I'm just going to. We'll do dev streaming later tonight. I want to take a quick break, eat some lunch because my stomach's killing me. So, cheers. Have a good one, uh, Bacon. Thanks for the tier one sub. I uh, hope you keep enjoying the content, guys. And uh, yeah, see you soon. And yes, we do have to do the payout. Let me end the stream first.